Hello, my soccer universe. Yes, this Milan fan, this glowing Milan fan and hater of Inter for most of the time as a fan, is wearing Inter jersey for this video. But that's kind of the topic of my video. I call it breaking boundaries. It's kind of the tug of war between fan or collector. And I think for most collectors, this is not really uh, a problem because I, as far as I understand it, the most mainstream collectors, they choose one team, maybe one national team and buy all jerseys from there. Well, during editing, I realized I probably need to qualify this statement because it's a very strong statement and I'm not sure how right I am about it, to be honest. Um, when I say most collectors, um, I do not necessarily mean the people that I follow on Twitter, Instagram and so on, because they have amazing collections like uh, myself and very varied. However, I get very often uh, from people that do have some shirts, but uh, they stick monogamous with their team or their one or two teams. And as I will explain in this video, I have shown this. This for me is an easier way to start collecting. That's why I personally feel that most people go this way and don't go as wild as some of the people that I follow and like myself. I never was there that other way because I like the games also so, so much that I very quickly got a wide range of different teams and so on. However, for a, up until two years ago, I steered well away from all these teams that I do not like. Let's say for national team level, Germany, Inter, Bayern Munich, all those teams that I really, really uh, love to hate. I, Stayed away from them. It even got so bad that at, at points when I saw them in a store and I inadvertently touched them. I mean, I mean bleh. <laughs> crazy, absolutely crazy. So yeah, uh, then I started my channel and then I thought, and I was very much uh, influenced as I said, the biggest influence on this channel although i don't watch his channel now all that often any, anymore because he's going more in the new sex segment than the jersey sex segment i think i wanna while i do the new sex segment, i, I actually want to stay more in the jersey segment um is of course the hockey guy who uh has this amazing collection of nhl jer jerseys and while he's a clear fan of three teams which i can immediately relate to because you know yes i have lask i have milan and then there are a bunch of other teams that i have sympathies for uh but you know those are my two and he has three that he has sympathies for and then a uh, whole other it keeps changing he makes ra rankings of what teams he likes and he dislikes i could relate to that but he has really jerseys from teams that he absolutely doesn't like i think the team he hates most is other montreal canadians but he has a lot of Canadian shirts and he, uh, he even says uh, he makes fun of it um, going on the street with a, a Canadian shirt and then someone is uh, telling him, wow, are you a Canadian fan? No, the team sucks, but the shirt is really nice. I personally probably could not do that, <laughs> to be honest. I think I can wear this here in the comfort of my home, uh, this Inter shirt. I can very well hang it here on the wall I maybe can post for social media wearing this shirt going out with this shirt i st still think i would have a little problem there however um this particular shirt i definitely got because a i like it a whole lot and uh, b i think it may hold actually some value for the future especially if i give it keep it in good condition so yep so uh I'm gonna do this now and I will elaborate a little a, a, a little bit more on the topic. Um, I, I will do this in two parts. I first of all uh, talk about the two points of view that are kind of tearing inside of me, the barriers that I've broken down meanwhile. And then of course the barriers that are yet to be broken down. That will be the first part, this is this video. And then in the second part, this will be a sh um, uh, jerseys with story video, I'll uh, show you five jerseys that 
really have broken down the walls. This is a, a little bit atypically, but uh, five shirts that totally have broken down big walls for me. Some bigger than others and yeah, Germany and Inter feature quite um, prominently in there. So what changed for me is, as, as I said, is really uh, when I started this channel, I did not have as big of a goal. It was nearing the 100 mark, uh, but it was really teams that I kind of like and I always have been saying, okay, if this team is a nice shirt, or, or this team is a really nice shirt, I'm going to get get this one. I think the first one uh, where I one could argue this was breaking down a barrier, but I, 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 actually at that time I liked the team and I also wanted to tease the, my brothers who really don't like it, was when I got my first Real Madrid jersey and there's a nice story to it that I actually uh, saw two Champions League games in 2000 against Bayern Munich and uh, Real Madrid against Bayern Munich, it's a no-brainer, you are for Real Madrid, There's no, there is uh, for an Austrian, or at least for this Austrian here, there are a lot of Bayern Munich, Munich fans around, this was never a question. To me, um, getting a German national team jersey, a uh, total anathema for me, and getting German teams even was for me really, really, uh, really hard in many ways. So for most of the time, I got jerseys that I liked. Actually, mostly national teams for uh, club teams. I stayed pretty faithful to my teams that I, you know, Lask, Milan, Ajax. PSG, Barcelona, I had for a long time only one, uh, but you know, um, there was not a huge variety of club teams that I have currently. Um, and if I got one, it really needed to want uh, from a team that I really need to have one that I, I like. This was mostly, I really want to have, uh, despite some of the boring, it needed to be a jersey that I like, but um, for me it was always easier to collect national team shirts than uh, club team shirts for club teams. I really, I mean, the, um, one big exception pro proper was when I was on my, my first London trip and I visited Chelsea, which I was a Chelsea, uh, Chelsea, Chelsea fan, got a Chelsea shirt, I went to uh, Highbury, I went to White Hart Lane, got jerseys from there. Uh, so that kind of was, was kind of the, um, Variety section of my collection. If I think about, it, I'm I'm really try uh, try try to think. I had Barcelona, I had Real Madrid, I had PSG, I had Ajax, I had Milan, I had Roma when I started this channel. Um, and yeah, I had the three English teams. I think that was really 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 it. So uh, Anna, I had Kiev Verona, which was the big outlier there. <laughs> I forgot about Kievo. So yeah, uh, and then I also got Fiorentina because uh, I was in Florence and I said, okay, yes, it's Austria-Vienna team that I kind of do not like. It's one of those Viennese teams, but you know, the purple of Fiorentina, I always liked Fior Fiorentina, so, and we were in Florence. So I had this kind of thing. If you have visited a, a town, try to get a jersey from there. So uh, that was kind of my mode of collecting for the longest of times. So and then I started this channel and I started to build, uh, to make backgrounds. And I fairly quickly realized that I need variety. And so I started buying. But you know, my Italian collection became rather quickly sizable. And I was happy with that. Uh, England was also relatively easy to, but um, Germany, I had nothing. France I still had nothing and, and, and so on. So I um, needed to kind of build that one up a little bit. But then I still had some barriers. And I think that the first real barrier that uh, fell for me was I think around Christmas, uh, New Year's 2018 to 2019, when I was realizing I actually have, now in meanwhile, I turned to the two, two were fake, I, I could one replace. I have since, since 2004, I have, uh, since 2000, 2000, I had every champions, uh, every national team that won a tournament. I had a, a jersey from, from them, except for one, Germany. And then I saw a Germany shirt, the one that they won the World Cup in 2014 for, 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 for that price. I'm gonna get a Germany shirt and I actually rubbed it into my 
uh, brother a little bit. I got the disgusting look. But that was kind of the first one where I said, okay, for my channel, I need to build up a good collection. And I said, yeah, you know, I've been to Germany, uh, to Germany. Uh, yes, on soccer field, they are rivals and they are always, you know, uh, it's neighbors, blah, blah, blah. But in the end, I actually rec recognize that uh, there's a lot of stuff about Germany that I actually do like. So that was that. And then fell the really, really big uh, when I said, okay, let's look for Mid Italian co collection. Um, I probably need a Juventus shirt and I always want to have Juventus. That, that was not that hard. But if I can get one for really cheap, like a German shirt, I will get an Inter shirt. And I got an Inter shirt and that broke the dam. Very quickly followed uh, other teams that I did not have a big uh, like or want for uh, initially. But for, the, for building this background and building uh, the collection for, for the channel, I really felt that I needed to have them. And the funny thing is that, yeah, I might still have trouble going outside and wearing these. I think I can wear this at home. I maybe can go out for a quick shopping or whatever. Maybe I can post on Instagram, but I probably would not go uh, visit my family wearing this Inter shirt or um, go out and, uh, you know, meet my work colleagues. Uh, and then, you know, anyway, since, since I'm wearing shirts, those who do not know me, they think I wear always the team that is just winning or whatever and that I am like a glory hunter and uh, when, when they get them, they know, no, I have a big collection, I want to wear all, the, all this, sometimes I wear the shirts because I just wore them in the video where, yes, I wear usually the shirt of a team that was winning, but it's pretty well defined which teams I like and I do not like. So having said all that, I have really broken down uh, barriers. It was very easy. Um, I got German shirts. I even got a Bayern Munich shirt. And I remember this was, uh, and, and probably this will not feature in the video. Uh, this Bayern, uh, maybe. This my Bayern, Bayern Munich shirt, uh, still tells you. So this Bayern Munich shirt I got uh, when I wanted, uh, when I saw uh, in early 2020, the Bayern Munich, they had just beaten Chelsea, Stanford Bridge. And so they might as well win the Champions League and my Champions League background looks really bad if I don't have Bayern Munich. So better get Bayern Munich. Almost had to get another team as well, but that leads me now to the borders that I have not crossed. Uh, the first one is the obvious one and this is also related to that background. I just made this wonderful, uh, wonderful, I hope you liked it guys, video on the preview for the Austrian Bundesliga. And I have only one team from the Austrian Bundesliga, Lask. And I was even discussing this uh, with my father the other day, you know, uh, who, you know, my parents are so-and-so with me collecting. They think it's a uh, loss of time, money, whatever, but on, on the other side, uh, I think they enjoy seeing this as well. So, you know, uh, the big support for me is definitely coming from my wife and my children and other, and you guys out there that I talk for, it's not coming from the generation above, although I do get sometimes a jersey from them here and there. Uh, in any case, I, will, I was talking to my father. Um, one, I really have now, I have a Bayern Munich shirt, I have an Inter shirt, uh, the two teams that I like to hate the most. I have a Germany shirt even, However, I do not have a shirt from another Austrian Bundesliga team and I kind of ask, almost rhetorically, which team would I even start with? Uh, I mean, I kind of have an answer from the bigger teams. I think the ones that I could is probably Sturm Graz because they have the same color scheme and Wacker Innsbruck because I always had a soft spot for Innsbruck. However, uh, the true ones that I probably will need are Salzburg and the two big Vienna teams. And that's still a problem for me. Um, it is just, I'm too much of a Lusk fan. And I know that if some, not that I'm not big, but I probably, this is something that I still have a problem still with. I talked this to my wife as well, and she is encouraging me, you know, don't worry, don't worry about it. You broke so, so, so many barriers down. You could really, you know, build your, uh, build up your Austrian collection as well. And I have to say, there are some really nice shirts in Austria, uh, even among the current first league teams. And they're not that hard to get. Not the cheap 
surprisingly, but not that hard to get either. So yeah, that's barrier number one that I still have not broken. And barrier number two are, it's kind of related to the Red Bull teams. You don't see a Leipzig shirt up there. And I've been looking here, here and there, but I uh, even found a nice one that I actually like, but to be honest, I don't like it. Uh, there is something about the Red Bull teams where I still have a problem with adding to my collection. So those are the two barriers. I think the Red Bull barrier may fall, especially if Leipzig goes on another deep Champions League run. Then I probably will need one. Um, so let's see. Uh, I have to say my stance on Red Bull has softened to the degree I do not like what they are doing with their network and you know uh, especially completely changing uh, the colors of the team that they took over in Austria Salzburg although there was a president in the late 80s in Innsbruck as well so it's not wasn't all the first uh, so that I didn't like however over the past five six years they have done pretty good work and they're a fun team to watch so my stance is softening a little bit, but I still have not gone over that barrier. So what I would like to know is, how do you see it? Um, are you someone who is like me now collecting all over the place and have you jerseys of teams that you do not not like, um, but you get them because they look nice, like this Inter shirt. I literally have to say this is the best Inter shirt that Inter have put out in a long, long time. I even have to say today I was looking at I know this is not kind of contention. I do like this Nathkins jersey that they put out, the home jersey. It should be a third jersey, honestly, but I do like it. I was looking at it because now you can get it without a sponsor. I thought, hmm, maybe. I'm not ready to uh, drop 70 euros for it, but to be honest, it was a jersey that I thought, hmm, it might be interesting to get. So, yeah. So, I would like to know where you stand. Uh, how do you, should I get other teams from Austria? Should I not? Should I break the Red Bull barrier? Have you done it? I want to know where you stand uh, on this discussion. I know other uh, collectors that uh, do not get teams from their own club teams from their own country, but they they collect ev ev everywhere else. Definitely in interest. This is where the fan meets the collector. And I don't know who's going to win in the end. A lot of time the collector has won and I think if you get a nice shirt I can see that this is a good addition to a collection. However, how do you feel about it? I don't feel very comfy wearing this Inter shirt. Again, I like it, but I'm a Milan fan. So this seems a little bit anathema. In any case, drop a line below, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.